Welcome to today's video. I'm Josie Concept and I'm going to be showing you a step by step on how to solve this Adobe Genio issue, how to get rid of this app has been disabled. This Adobe Genio issue. So I'm going to be walking you through a step by step on how to solve this on Photoshop and also on other Adobe software. So without any further ado, let's get started. So yeah, Adobe has actually launched an initiative just to get rid of pirated software and also to get rid of the ungenuine softwares and online sense app. So this new update by Adobe actually requires you to buy the software and also sign in to your Creative Cloud account. So this is the new update by Adobe. So it's affecting users who use the crack versions and also who don't not have a creative cloud. So I'm going to be showing you a perfect way on how to solve this problem. I'm going to be showing you two methods, the Windows method and the software web method. So first of all, what you need to do is to go to your search bar or your tags bar here. Then you type in your Windows Defender. You go to your advanced settings. Your advanced settings then you go to your inbound rules then you click on new rules then you go to your root type you set this to be program then you click on next then the program part so you come to your search bar if you're using adobe if you're using photoshop or after effects it's still the same method so let's type in photoshop then this is the photoshop then you click on open file location then it will take you to the shortcut then you still click on open file location then you come over here to the search bar then copy the parts program file parts then you come over here then paste it then you go to next you set this to block the connection then next you set your network to be domain private and public so you click on next so let's name this photoshop let's name this to be photoshop then you click on finish so you can see here we already have it yeah we already have this here so after this you go to your outbound rules yeah then you click on new rules you do the same click on new rules click on new rules then you set this to be program next then the program part file you paste the adobe next then you click set this to be block the connection then you set this to be domain private and network same process then let's name this photo shop photo shop so next so here you can see this already we already have this here so what you are going to do next is to come over to your tax manager then you end the tax photoshop tax so let's end the tax so let's open it again it has ended the tax so let's click on photoshop to open again it's downloading so let's wait for it to open so yeah it's downloading already so this is our file so you won't see that pop up again so you won't see that pop up again so let me turn on my antivirus so i'm using the avg internet security so this is for the second method so i actually turned it off to be able to have access to my windows defender so let's turn it on so when i turn it on you can see so yeah so you go to all apps so yeah when you see this second method when you turn on your antivirus you notice it will pop up so what you do you go to your all files here so let's look for anything associated with adobe so this is the adobe photoshop so let's block it then also do the same it's anything associated with adobe so yeah let's go over here to the adobe creative adobe after effect I'm just going to block them one by one. So 
so you make sure nothing is left so let's block everything associated with adobe so let's wait for it to block so you can see it's already blocked yeah so you can see this is already blocked so yeah you won't see the pop-up again so you won't see that pop-up again so this method actually is disabled adobe gen new server from interfacing with your firewall and having access into your internet if you enjoyed this video kindly subscribe to our youtube channel and turn up the notification bell not to miss exciting content like this and make sure to leave a like on this video and tell us in the comment section if this method actually worked for you thank you